Hi, grade eights. So since there was a problem with the Zoom recording yesterday, I will just go ahead and re-explain this um, for those of you who missed out or who want to hear some of the instructions again. So here we go. Here's our plan for the next couple weeks. Um, I have the calendar set up here for you. If you'll see on the left, we have all the standards that I want for you to learn about, um, about light and some different like skills that we're going to practice. So first this week, um, Monday through Thursday, your main tasks are to watch some Ed Puzzle videos and do some virtual light labs. Um, and that is mainly to get you the basic concepts of light. And next week we're going to be doing a light study together and some data from the real world and try to apply your knowledge of light to that. Um, and then as you are doing these two things, I want you to start preparing for how you are going to share with me how you learned this. So rather than me telling you, you need to make a video about this, you need to write it out for me, like in a test or something, I want you to choose how you will present it to me. And um, all I care is that you are able to share it with me in a way I can understand, um, and that a way other people might be able to learn from it as well. So in the end, you should be able to give me something that is um, less than seven minutes if you're going to make a video, or less than four pages if you're going to visually represent it somehow. So you need to be able to explain well, but still keep it concise enough. Um, but when you're making this, it could be one format, it could be a mixture of formats, um, however you think best. It could be a video, you could actually build something to show how light works or can be applied. Um, you could type a report if you like that. You could make a Prezi and record yourself explaining through it. Um, you could make a magazine, write newspaper articles, make a song, whatever you want. Be creative. Make it something you will enjoy doing to help keep you motivated um, through home learning. Because sometimes that's hard to do if you're at home away from people. Um, and so aim to explain it to someone who is around 6th uh, to ninth grade, someone maybe in the schools of Espeja, someone like that. Um, that should be who you, the kind of voice that you're using. You'll be able to explain it to someone that age, right? Um, and then your due date will be 10 p.m. Tuesday, 5th of May on Manage Back. Right, so here are the different tasks. There are five of them and we'll be going through them sort of together. So for this week, be thinking about these first two. How will you show me you understand these light standards over here? Um, and then the next one is doing some kind of hands-on activity. So I have a list of those for you on a separate document. And this is a document that is due next Tuesday. So you can download that and start to think about it. It has all these standards as well as the examples that I give you for hands-on demonstrations. So you might want to make a sundial. Um, you might want to use a prism. You might want to think about how a convex and concave mirrors work by using a spoon. You might want to do something with refraction, like a disappearing coin. Okay, there's lots of ideas here. Go to look those up, or if you have a different idea, let me know. It needs to be something physical that you do, you can show, demonstrate light with. Right? And then go ahead and start to fill this out and turn this into me next Tuesday. I just want to be able to see what you're doing and give me some evidence of that here. All right. um, and then going back to your project. Um, again, how you do it is up to you. These are just the things that I will be looking for. Um, as far as AO2, we will work on this more next week. So come to the Zoom meeting because we're going to practice this a little bit together with an example before you do your own um, at looking at some actual data to apply your knowledge. Um, and then how you explain that and apply that will be another kind of AO1 grade. So being able to apply it to social, economic, and environmental um, concepts and applications will be important. And if you do that, you get at least an ME, or you could get up to an ME. Um, but if you are actually able to come up with part of your product that you could share with people that would be helpful for people to know, on social media, um, and it's in a relevant way that could get you higher than an ME. And then finally, we'll discuss a little bit of how this relates to our theme because it fits exactly the children's life. So, 
those are the things that you should be doing. Um, just a little note on your virtual labs this week. I'll demonstrate those for you, but there are a few here, a few short ones at the beginning. I suppose I need to change that. Huh? Um, and so as you're going through these, the last two are the FET one again. So if you couldn't do that last week, let me know so we can try to get you using that this week. Make sure you've got Java. Um, but I just wanted to show you those really quickly. So here is the first one. Bending lights. So this is going to talk about refraction, reflection. You can push the button here to turn it on. Um, and this shows how it is both reflected right here and refracted right here. So you're going to learn about the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection in some of your Edpuzzle videos, as well as the angle of refraction here. And you can even um, use your protractor to measure those on here, which will be needed for inside of your lab. Right, you can also do things with prisms, which are very cool, or with different pieces of glass to see how they bend light. Um, if you use this laser right here, you can see how they converge when they come in at different angles. Um, if it's one like this, you can actually rotate it this way. And if you use white light, which is a combination of the other lights, you can actually um, try to experiment with this until you figure out how to get it to split into its different colors. Kind of like that. So, um, that is this one. You'll also be using the color vision one to show you how white light is split up into colors. Remember, this is just the visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So as I shine this light, I can actually change the bulb color to show what lights are coming through. And you can even look at the color of particles that are shining through. Whereas if you use white light, you can see that we see white, but it's actually made up of all the colors of light. So you can apply a filter to only let through certain kinds of light. So a yellow filter will actually only allow yellow light to come through. Um, a green filter only allows the green light to come through, so it actually absorbs the rest of the kinds of light. Um, and when you see something, it's also because that object um, absorbs all the colors of light except for the color you see, because that's the light that bounces off of it for you to look at it. So you'll have some um, experiments with this as well, and hopefully that is helpful for you to visualize these. Um, you can also use these where there's different parts of light, and this is kind of what the person actually sees. So there's that. Um, I think that's all I have for you. You guys asked some good questions in the Zoom, and I hope that I answered them all now. If not, you can uh, message me on Teams, and hopefully you have a good week learning these things. That's all I have for you today. Bye!